So good afternoon from outside the Pagani Museum here in Modena. This is the museum uh, depicting the history of Horatio Pagani, uh, maker of one of the fastest road cars in the world. Uh, we're here today uh, to look at the museum as well as a factory tour, which we pre-booked online for a very reasonable price. Uh, the time now is about three o'clock in the afternoon. Our tour is in half an hour's time at 3.30 p.m. We've parked on the street. The museum doesn't seem to have on-site parking, so it's just on the street. Um, and yes, we'll just uh, make our way in and share this experience with you. Ah, ciao. ciao. Earlier today, we were at the Lamborghini Museum, which was uh, first appearance is uh, slightly bigger than this. This is a nice and um, I guess cozy uh, museum display. Yes, we have a factory tour. Yeah, what's the reservation name? Uh, it's under David, David Fung at 3.30. Yes, four people. Yes, that's right. What is the number four? Is the, is the other... Oh, <laughs> hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. Now, I only need to put a bracelet on you. Okay. Sure. With the bracelet, you are free to already go inside the museum and have a first look by yourself. Thank you so much. Welcome. Don't worry, after the tour, you can go back inside the museum to visit some more. Okay. okay. How come does it close the museum? How come does it close? Uh, we close the whole building at 5. So both museum and the shop. Thank now, you so much. The, um, the entrance to the museum is on the left, behind you, where there is the map of okay. the region. Okay. Inside the museum, you can take pictures and videos. Just please do not touch the cars. Sure. Okay. Thank you. Thanks very much. And oh, one more thing. It's only important to be back here a couple of minutes before uh, half past three. Because here is the, po the meeting point for the tour. Okay, okay. thank you. How long is the tour? How long is the tour? One hour long. <laughs> it should end uh, at half past four. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. See you later. So we've got our wristbands. This allows us to walk through the museum as well as uh, partake in the factory tour, which starts in a couple minutes, so touch base soon. And so while we wait for the museum tour in a few minutes' time, let's check out the actual gallery exhibit, which is part of the museum that you can actually uh, film, I guess. There are seven cars on display, starting with the Pagani Zonder R, built in 2010. This is quite an exposed vehicle. Next up is the Zonder HP Barquetta Rebel, 2022. Again, silver, blue, and red decals. Bit of the interior, very aer aerodynamic. Next to that is the Zonda Cinque Roadster, 2010. This is the distinctive kind of exhaust, four exhaust. It's so aggressive, you know, you can see the polished um, spray painted exhaust system there a shade of blue very aggressive styling the, the Horatio Horatio Pagani uh, uh, emblem there yeah 2010 it's not bad it's aged quite well for a 13 year old car next to that you've got a 2005 Zonda F this is in a striking shade of orange the interior is very uh, polished chrome next to that is a car from the 2000s Zonda S very retro styling now you can definitely see the the difference in generations and here we have what is this one Zonda La Nonna 1988 this is does not look like a 1988 uh, 1998 car it looks very very modern it's aged very well and you can see the distinctive um, side mirrors mono wiper 
and the huge kind of engine cowling there. And finally, the final model on the screen, this amazing deep red is the Pagani Huayra. I hope I'm pronouncing that correct. Got some information here. Doors are open, gullwing doors, and the interior is just unlike any other. You can definitely see the level of detail in the, um, the gear selector. Very aerodynamic, very aggressive styling. And again, at the back, you've got the distinctive four exhaust system. So yeah, that's the seven cars on display. We've got some other exhibits, more historical artifacts like you know, his old racing uh, uh, designs, some history. Just around there, you've got, um, a, oh, it's definitely interesting for me, uh, he designed a, um, Horatio Pagani designed a golf caddy, a uh, motorized caddy while he was at work in the Lamborghini factory. Um, so that, that was a pretty interesting exhibit. Um, otherwise, that's it. That's pretty much the entire um, uh, small-ish uh, gallery floor of the Pagani Museum. So mobile phones have to be placed in lockers until after the tour. We're just starting that now. So I'll see you after the tour. <laughs> so the tour has come to an end. Throughout the tour, we were using these radio uh, devices um, because there's quite a few members of the group. This made it easier for her, the tour guide, to uh, speak into her uh, her mouthpiece and then that message was broadcast to anyone in the group so no matter if you were standing close to her or away from her you could hear the information very quickly so it's time to return these and uh, head out to the exit leaving the Pagani museum the factory tour they don't allow you to bring in um, cameras or phones uh, the contracts between the factory and the buyers stipulate that uh, the owners don't permit um, photos of their cars being taken while on the production line so while it's fresh in my memory what it takes you through this, the tour it takes you firstly past a prototype of the latest model, the Utopia or Utopia. Uh, that uh, fully kitted out uh, weighs at 1280 kilos, which is not that not that heavy. Uh, we were then taken up the stairs to the carbon fiber sheeting uh, facility, named after uh, Mr. Ferrari, who is a uh, I guess a workman who has been with uh, Pagani since the very start. Coming into the car. Ah. Okay. Alright, and then after that, we were taken past the autoclave machines, uh, where essentially just an oven, you bake one of these um, carbon plated, carbon fiber plated uh, instruments, uh, it comes out with a product that's harder than iron. Uh, takes about two hours um, and I think uh, the lady the tour guide was saying uh, one mirror requires you know you, you can do with 15 sheets is sufficient so that's kind of uh, the indication so that's basically the tour um, and uh, Colin any thoughts on the tour um, very educational I think um, I'm not a car junkie but even then I still find it quite um, interesting um, yeah You've caught me at a bad moment. I'm just collecting what, my phone. What, what's what's your what was the car that you uh, if you money was no object, which model would you get? Yeah, I was trying to see between the different varieties. Uh, I, I think the Pagani uh, F named as a tribute to uh, Juan Manuel Fangio, who was a race car driver, F1 driver who helped uh, Mr. Pagani. Uh, that looked the sleekest to me. Um, so yeah, if money was no issue, that would be the car. There's a Zonda F. Zonda. Zonda F. Sorry, yes, Zonda. Zonda. The, the customization um, that, that some people get up to can be quite interesting as well. I think uh, the guy was telling us that uh, one owner had his car sort of painted in the colors of Inter Milan, the golf club, which is blue and black. 
Yeah, definitely well worth the tour. The cost of this tour per person is 55 euros. So I think uh, for an hour tour behind the scenes, beyond the general public uh, viewing area of the outside exhibits, I think it's well worth the, the 